really hard. Okay, wait, wait, there we go, you guys can see me now. Today I'm gonna be painting a picture of mountains. I don't know what's the name at the end of the video because I don't know what it's gonna be called. I just don't know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all oh, yes. Basically what I've done is took really light gray. As you can see here, and it's these soft pastels. You can see like my I took the soft pastels and I just traced out what I want the mountains to be like. Oh my god, I can't open this. I got it open. Okay, so pretty much now I have all my colors laid out of what I want to do for the night sky. And I'm just going to start to paint the night sky. Paint the top of the canvas. and here's the new canvas so that I don't get that all dirty. Now what I'm doing is taking my lightest blue, here's my darkest, and here's my lightest, and I'm going over all my lines. I'm going all around everything and filling in all the sky with this light blue. Now I outlined all my mountains, and now I'm just going to fill this in with my light blue color. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like slime or dripping in paint, and look kind of helpful with these extra canvas for some time. This has been all over my bed. Basically now what I'm doing is I'm going to start to add black, dark blue, um, this is it. This is purple, but it looks really black. So I'm gonna mix that some with some white, and I'm gonna start adding white. So yeah, and I'm not, I'm not really wiping off my brush because I'm just blending colors. Now I have all these splotches of different colors, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sponge brush or something like that and I'm gonna blend this all together to make light or darker spots. In my tiny sponge. This is what I got now. It's all the highlights and like low lights of the sky. And now I'm gonna add stars with my white. This is my white. This is my white paint. I pretty much just oh I have enough four hands here. But I pretty much now have I'm using the back of my paintbrush to add stars and using yeah just like some q-tips and stuff like that. See, I am just adding the stars. This is a regular pencil. No, it's not regular. It's a mechanical pencil. <laughs> and I'm just going to use some white to make different size stars. You can see here, I did some stars that look like this, so this is what the nice guy is turning out to look like. I recommend putting lots of stars in the dark patches so that it gives more contrast. Sky. Is that the mountains? Yeah. <laughs> like, but does this look like sky? This is gonna be mountains. But does this look like sky? Yes, this looks like sky. Okay. This is what the sky we looks like. <laughs> Now it looks like galaxy slime. So this is the white paint. P.S. Do not push too hard because you will break the end of the container of paint. <laughs> so yeah. Now I have all my paint down. And I'm just going to slowly start adding colors where the highlights and lowlights of the mountain are going to be. Now that I have some of the color laid down, I'm just blending it with my finger, and this is what my mountains are starting to look like. They'll look better. Beware when you're painting, you're always gonna get messy. But this is what it looks like so far. Basically, what you're gonna do is just start to get the colors in of the mountains, and then use black to define it when you're done. I'm standing against my nature. I'm using the oil colors. Ah. 
now this is what it looks like. Now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of black to start darkening the top of my tips. And this is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! Now I don't have to get like... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!